fantastic. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How exciting. Thank you for coming back. If you took a break with me, welcome back. If you kept going, fantastic. It was so necessary, so rejuvenating. And I'm so grateful. And I know that it's this practice that allows me to know this is what I need. I need to stop or I need to start. I need to speak up. I need to listen. There's such awareness here. That's the garden that we're growing. So this sequence is focused on the throat. And this is a book called Chakra Yoga which is by Alan Finger, who's a, just a phenomenal tantric teacher. So Vishuddha comes from the Sanskrit Vi Shuddhi, and Vi means very or deep or extreme, and Shuddhi is purification. Vishuddha chakra is the center of extreme purification. And when it's in balance, it purifies all of the other chakras and brings harmony into your being. Vishuddha facilitates communication between your individual spirit and the spirit of the universe. It connects you to a higher plane of consciousness so that you can tap into your creativity, intuition, and find inspiration for life. Anahata, which is your heart, and Vishuddha are closely related. When your heart is balanced and open, Vishuddha automatically opens and communicates from a higher place. Unconditional love can shine through your words. So, this is the space that we know, if we were to think of the larynx, we move sound and breath and vibration and we create speech. But this space of our throat is between the heart and the head, between what we feel and what we think. And we want this to be open, to be vital, to be not just open, but to be collaborating. Because when this is active, we're contributing spirit and heart and meaning and thought to our words. And when there's a closure, when this is shut down, our words are simply relating to our thoughts and in this space when my heart is shut down and my spine is shut down and my throat is shut down, the words that I'm communicating, primarily the words I'm communicating inwardly, are of a lower frequency. I can, I can't, I will, I won't, I don't know. It's very practical, it's very sense-based. As you raise the spine, as you open and broaden through the heart, as anahata has more power, more space, more generative potential, this will naturally come up into your words, into your expression, how you express yourself. Your thoughts will be expressed differently as the energy of top and bottom. This is your upper triangle. And as that upper triangle has an opportunity to integrate heart, the meaning in your world, the thoughts you think about that meaning, the knowing you have of your role here, and the way you express it, all of this is elevated. And that elevation means that I am both expressing myself in a higher way, and it also means that I am hearing. My hearing is elevated. So there are moments today that we really focus on listening. We get quiet. And we allow our, our listening to be elevated, that there is so much acceptance available. A higher listening is one of welcome and praise. Palms together, sitting tall. Welcome to Vishuddha. Welcome to higher expression. Clear your hands, shake out your shoulders, loosen your jaw, wag your tail so that you can sit up tall. Such a fantastic, fantastic place we're going this month. And may we be guided all the way, 
Om Namo, I bow to all that creates and all that destroys. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to all within me that sees my life. Three times in hell. Om Namo. shoulders, shake out your hands, come to stand. So you will need a block potentially and a strap for sure. So two blocks actually, two blocks a strap and get them as you set yourself up, shake out your feet, step a little bit wider, loosen your hands, loosen your feet and start to turn. Mm, knees are soft. Inhale at the center, exhale as you turn Start with your awareness in your feet. A little bend in your knees so that you can push into the floor so that the turn that's initiated at your feet is what's swinging your arms. So that your arms and your upper back and your chest get even softer, your elbows loosen, your finger joints open, and you start to turn at the navel. Through the spine, chin turning shoulder to shoulder for ten, ah, nine, eight, three, two, one. Stand with your hands high, pause, palms forward, fingers soft. No force. And invite an elevation through your feet, through the pelvis, through the chest, to the fingers, the crown of your head. Just stay up, up, up. Notice how that might be difficult. Give it a little shake. Turn the head, loosen the lips, and draw your right elbow to your left knee and repeat right there. Each one's an exhale. And as you exhale, you're bringing your elbow even outside of your knee. And it might be wonky and it's early and you might fall a little bit awkwardly until you set yourself up. And you're opening and closing. You're rounding through the back. You're drawing your navel to your spine. Five. Four. Three. And we change sides, left elbow, right knee, as you're ready. And so this asymmetrical movement is forcing us to build a relationship between our navel, our center of gravity, and our standing foot. So you get stable. And then find your breath. Five. Four. Three. Two, good, and two hands high when you pause, stay. And if it's too much, soften your elbows an inch. And notice, and notice, and notice, let it rise. We're clearing out resistance, reluctance. Keep elevating, keep elevating. Turn it, shift it, shake it, move it if it needs to, keep elevating. Deepen your breathing, keep it up, 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 up. Turn your right palm away, turn your thumb down, bring your hand behind your back and reach the left hand over. And then the left hand, thumb down, hand behind your back, your right hand to reach over. 
So when I take my hand behind my back, I'm turning my palm away. It's facing away from my spine. And I'm bending my elbow and walking my hands a little higher up my spine. And I'm opening the sides of the ribs, spreading the spaces between my ribs, spreading the space between my lowest rib and my hip. <sighs> Spread your fingers wide, draw the thumbs a little higher up your spine as you open, opening across the front of the chest, all the way through the armpit. Three. Mm. Two. <sighs> One more. All the ways we get a little bit short. And now again, two hands high, be soft. Go slowly, spread your fingers. Knees soft, heels to the floor. And let your energy rise. Very often our familiarity is with a sensation of being very heavy. Let it elevate, let it be light, call it up. And widen it down, let it go, let it go. And just notice what you've done. The simplest movements. And if you only have 10 minutes and you don't have anywhere to go and you're standing at the park watching your kids, those are three movements. It's totally clear. Shake out your feet, shake out your hands, get your strap. Taking your strap behind you. It's hip distance. We've done this many times. Hands are behind you. Drop your seat. Weight in the heels. As you lift your hips, fold over and let your hands come overhead. So if your strap needs to be longer, you're simply bringing the hands away from the hips. It goes no further than the shoulders. And then hands to your hips. Drop your seat sitting down. Inhale, stand up tall. Five more. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, fold over, hips up, hands over, and exhale, sit down. Inhale, stand up. So you're starting to anchor into the feet, lengthen through the backs of the legs, and broaden through the front of the chest. Shoulders broad, arms long. And two. Stand up tall and set your strap down. And just now notice the space across the chest. Inhale, hands up high. Mm. And sun salutations, just two times. Knees bend, hands wide, hands down. Left foot steps back, left knee comes down. Take your time, set yourself up. And then hands up high as you inhale up. And then exhale down. Down dog, step back, pause in your dog a beat, wag your tail, walk it out. Open your chest, your arms, step your left foot up, put your right knee down. And hands up high. So our first ones, be sticky, be slow, be kind. Set it down. And step up and fold. Hands wide, sit down, thumbs up, hands high. And again, knees soft, hands wide, folding on the breath, right foot back, right knee down, hands up high, take your time, just fold and unfold, stepping back, a breath in dog, right foot up, left knee down. Set it down. Stepping up your pace, not mine. Fold in when you're there. Hands wide. Sit down. And stand tall. Folding down. Left foot back. Left knee down. And hands up high. Follow the pace of your body. Follow the pace of your morning dog. Left foot will step up, 
Right knee will come down. Hands up high. And fall. Right foot steps. Hands wide. Sit down. Thumbs up. Stand up. And fall. Right back. Right knee down. Hands up high. And fall down. Just starting to ease in and out through the movements. Right foot up. Left knee down. Letting it float open. And close. Stepping up. Hands wide. Rising tall. Palms together, look up. Lift your chin. And fall. Left foot back, left knee down, hands high, look up, and fold. Start to feel the change as you lift your chin, as you open your throat to your dog, to high plank please, to the floor, to your cobra. Little lift of the heart, wag the tail, roll down, bend your knees, roll up. Wag the tail, heart up, roll down, bend your knees, shoulders are broad, imagine you're holding that strap, down dog, pause, broadening across the chest, opening the front body, front belly, left foot up, right knee down, same thing, bring it up, look up, and fold down. Step up. Hands wide. Sit down. Thumbs up. Heart up. Palms together. Chin up. Open the throat. Heels down. Tail down. And fold. Last return. Right foot back. Right knee down. Hands up high. Palms together. Look up. And bring it down. Down dog, high plank, belly down, baby cobra, lift your heart, shoulder blades to the spine, and bend your knees, three, roll up, roll open, two, elbows back, shoulders back, and down dog. Walk your dog. Walk your dog. So, walk the dog so that your knee comes towards your chest and you lift one foot off the floor and you start to press deeply into the hands. And this might be perfect and you would stay right here, continuing to explore, strengthening the arms, strengthening the shoulders. Otherwise, to go on, high plank, Widen your feet wider than the mat. Tap your right knee to the center and high plank. Tap your left knee to the center and high plank. Exhale as you tap, inhale as you set back. So tap and press and tap. As you come back into your plank, anchor back into your hands, anchor back into your feet. Let your navel stabilize you. <sighs> So we need to be able to stand our ground, to speak our peace. All of our words and that strength of mind comes from the belly. Two. One more. Good. Hips high. Walk your feet back onto your mat. Put your knees wide. Put your toes together. Find your child. And rest your arms. We all meet here. And so over the course of this warm-up, we will grow stronger through the navel, stronger through that which stabilizes us, and we'll grow stronger through the arms, the chest, and the upper back. Saying kind things to ourselves is not necessarily easy sometimes. We need strength. Hands and knees, so most modified. Hands and knees, right elbow down, left elbow down, Right palm flat, press straight down, left palm flat, returning, 
left elbow down, right elbow down, left hand down, press straight down, rise straight up. Or toes wide, you're off the mat again, right elbow down, left elbow down, right palm flat, press straight down, rise up, left elbow down, right elbow down, left palm down, right hand flat. One more wherever you are, right down, left down. Be deliberate, press straight down to rise straight up. You're integrating your navel and your chest, left hand, right hand, knees down, toes together, child's pose, wag tail. You're starting to feel circulation through the throat, through the chest. Rise up, hands, knees, tuck, toes down, dog. Exhale in dog. Inhale, hands, knees. Exhale in child. Just move in and out, opening through the shoulders. Exploring. Hands and knees is your inhale. Child's pose is your exhale. And we'll meet in dog. Bring your right foot up. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Bring your right foot up. And it's up to you how high that goes to the elbow. So put it together. Press your thumbs down. Bring your navel to your spine. Bring your knee to your elbow last time. Chest broad. Right heel up and step up between your hands. Warrior two. Bring your back heel down and your hands go wide. Stand. Right elbow to the side, left hand overhead, and back toward one. Left hand to your back side, reach your right hand over. Inhale back, exhale warrior two, just like that. Inhale side angle, and exhale warrior two. Can you move from the action of your navel? Reach up, and warrior two. Elbow to thigh, reach over to stay three. Plug into your left heel, broaden through the chest and throat. Can you lengthen from the left shoulder to the left heel? And warrior two. And just cartwheel your hands to the floor. Step back, high plank. Flat to the floor. Little cobra, and rock your hips and wag your tail and open your throat. And down dog. So pressing back. Raise your left heel, which could mean it's up a foot. It could mean it's up the height of your hips. It could be over your hips. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. Come forward and then take it back. Three, without drama. And two, using your navel to bring your knee in, <sighs> using your hands to press your heel high, step your left foot up, build your warrior two. So we come into our stance, we come into standing postures so that we're grounded, elbow to the uh, thigh, side angle, back to warrior two, strong and expansive, Hand down behind, straighten the front leg, reach back. Warrior two. And then side angle to reach over a little more. And warrior two. And reach back. And find your warrior two. Deepen the bend in the front knee. Elbow to thigh. Reach over and stay. From your navel to your feet so that our words are grounded, so they have meaning, so we are to be trusted. It's not just ethereal, that it's coming from our roots. Warrior two, open up, look over your front fingers, stand in your feet, broaden your chest, and bring it down to a high plank. <sighs> Flat to the floor. And that wagging, shaking, rising, snaking up, loosening the front body, the chest, the throat, 
And again, child's pose, this time on your fingertips. Good. We'll come up a little more deliberately into the shoulders and the chest. So build kneeling. That's why you have your blocks. Build kneeling. It might mean that you have one. It might mean that you have two. Alternately, you can place the blanket over your heels and give yourself a little height. We're taking the elbows in a great circle. So we stabilize the navel. We began to strengthen through the shoulders, down into the hands. We anchor it into our feet, into our roots. You'll keep your left arm out and your right circle comes under the left to hold your wrist. Tuck your chin and give it all a little bit of a shake a little wriggle so that you can feel across the back of your shoulders, even wagging the tail, <sighs> elbows coming up, <sighs> elbows coming up, and with a very great tuck of your chin, spread the back body and round your elbows down towards your solar plexus down towards your belly let your fists fall towards your knees let your chin tuck into your chest let the whole thing keep folding as though you would put the crown of your head on your knees and then side to sweet slow side open the sides of the back of your spine the tops of your shoulders, the back of your neck, center, heavy. And then drop into the seat, navel over the seat, heart over the navel, elbows come up, come up, come up, come up, look up. Open your elbows, reach up high. Stay. Shake out the hands and big reverse circles with the elbows, slowly. So whatever you change through the shoulders and the upper back, let that change turn into mobility. The right elbow stays forward, the left goes around and comes under. Left holds right. Elbows up, tuck of the chin. Big breath into the back of your body, a shimmy, a shift, a change, a jaw, the eyes, the movements, making space. Tuck up the chin, and then elbows draw down and in. The hands fall down, the back rounds. Your head grows heavy, and you turn a little side to side, as though your arms were an elephant's trunk that was swinging side to side, even bringing your ear towards your shoulder, just gently opening the upper back to center. Elbows up, elbows up, elbows up, elbows up, elbows up. Let go, pause high and wide, palms face forward, fingers soft. And hands down. And as you sit tall, just notice the sensations across the chest, across the throat. And then as this opens, what happens to the head, to the sensations in the brain? Coming to hands and knees, interlace your fingers so that the pinky edge of your hand is down, the elbows are down, and cat-cow, right there. <sighs> Tuck of the chin. So just like you were doing with those eagle arms a moment ago, keep releasing across the upper back, <sighs> through the throat, right to the top of your head. So this is your modification. Tuck your toes under if you like, or just to check it out, see how it feels. Lift your hips, keep your knees soft, walk your feet in, keep your knees soft. So I'm rooting down into my elbows, my upper back is broad. 
So you may either be on elbows and knees doing cat-cow or you're in a forearm prep with the elbows down, pressing the forearms down. You can do a little bit of a walk the dog. And then by bending one knee and pressing back with one heel, you start to stabilize through the elbows and the chest just for three. And for two. Good. And hands, knees, and knees down. Get your blanket under your knees. Last place to go. And we'll keep exploring. This warm-up is going to evolve. You're going to keep growing stronger. You're going to grow more familiar with the circulation you're creating. So my knees are, are padded. My toes are tucked under. The modifications start with your hands on your hips with your thumbs back. So we're avoiding that rounding sensation by dropping the knees and opening the front body. So all it is is chin up and chin down. Chin up, huh, and chin down. The toes are there to stabilize you, bring your thumbs closer towards the center of your spine, will broaden your chest, and you're exploring, opening across the front of the chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. Or, as you feel more stable, walk your palms to where your glutes meet your hamstrings. <sighs> Inhale, up, exhale, down. <sighs> and we're going to stay right here just for 10. It's not a big muscular action. It's the repetition that's going to start to open the front body. You can play with the hips moving forward and back. Get a little bit juicier. Listen to your body. Five. Four. Two. And one. Add the block between your heels. Keep your knees on the blanket. And just sit with hands on thighs and noticing. Notice that there might be the sensation of a ball of light across the chest, the throat, the face. fingers together, put your right thumb to point back towards you and use the side of your right thumb to close the right side nostril. And you'll breathe in through the left and then lightly release the right nostril and breathe out through both. Close the right side on the inhale. Exhale through both. In for four. Out for four. Smoothing out this left side nostril. Bringing our ability into our listening, quieting. Letting your breathing become smooth and circular for 30 more seconds.
the breath become a little softer, less athletic. more personal. One more round, in and out. The right hand comes down and be still. Walk yourself forward, get rid of the block. Knees are on the blanket, tuck toes, flex your feet, whatever you need to do, wag your tail. Widen your knees and bring your forearms down again. Put your palms together and shift your weight back. The crown of your head points towards your hands. And if your head does not reach the mat, if your forehead center does not reach the mat in this pose, that's fine, put a block. So <clears throat> if child's pose isn't easily accessible, I'm going to have my hips over my knees. Look to your hands and hold the block in your hands, right? So that the center of your forehead has a place to be. And then just walk your elbows forward so that you're stable. As you're ready, the block gets lower. If you don't need the block, your palms together, your hips back, your forehead on the floor. You can be here for just three minutes. You're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. As you breathe in, use your mind and visualize from the base of your spine up through the crown of your head with the breath. And on the exhale, the spine is white bright, strong, and vital on the inhale from the base of the spine, up, behind the navel, behind the heart, behind the throat, through the midbrain, out the crown, and the spine is white. And using this beautiful power of imagination, the base of the spine is red and you're traversing up Low belly is orange, behind the navel is yellow, behind the heart is green, behind the throat is blue, up into the head is darker blue, and the spine is white. Can you add color to the breath moving through the body? And can you reside in that white light of your spine? Two more times, red at the base, orange low belly, yellow belly, green heart, blue throat, forehead, to purple crown. One more. Lift your chest, plant your hands, tuck your toes, find your dog, drop your head, wag your tail, loosen the knees.
You'll step forward in front of your blanket to build a cross-legged seat, sitting tall. So we have this axis, the spine clear, the front of the body open and tall. Bring your hands out wide and your palms up. With the hands open, turn to the left. Bending your elbows, your palms face you, turn to the right. Hands open, arms straight, inhaling, turning left. Bending your elbows, turning right, exhale. In left, out right. Keep your nose on a steady line. That we're not dropping the chin, we're turning. And with that turn, it's as though the neck is a great piece of fabric, like you were wringing out a wet towel. Inhaling left, opening right to the fingertips, exhaling, reach to the elbows, turn the chin. Again, it's not an athletic movement, it's just releasing the tension we hold across the chest, through the neck, through the base of the skull, all the way through our fingertips. 30 more seconds, just this way. Starting to feel your way under the edge of the jaw, up behind the ear. For three. Mm -hmm. And two. Finding center. And your hands down, backs of the hands to the thighs. Notice across the chest. Notice up under the root of your tongue. So with this opening, the navel stable, this space humming with circulation and possibility, come to kneel. <clears throat> and your knees again, can be supported on the blanket if you choose, or block between your heels or under you. You can open your blanket out. Whatever your kneeling posture looks like, or if you want to try it out in, in cross-legged seat, that's fine. Take your hands out, we'll turn thumbs up. And imagine you're holding a block so that there's a little bit of stability in the hands and the shoulder blades draw down into the spine and with that, lean ever so slightly back so that the navel is strong and the heart comes up. Open your mouth, a whisper of ha. Heart is up, shoulders down, navel strong. Close your mouth out the nose. Now, this is your modification work right here if you need to, a little more upright. Or <clears throat> turn your thumbs away. Reach into your fingers, open your elbows, keep the length from the middle of your throat up under the point of your chin, take a little bit back. Again, that's a modification, the full pose, put the pinky edge of your hands together, straighten your arms, breath of fire. We'll go for a minute today, working up to three. So sink your seat down to let your heart come up. The chin is pointing towards the tips of your fingers. Your thumbs rotate away. The arms are straight. Where don't you need to be working? Strong pumps of the belly. Encourage yourself with a strong, steady breath. If you need to, come out, shake it out, rearrange, come back in. It's day one. 
Do what you can do. seconds. Five, four, three, two. Inhale up. Sit up tall, tuck your chin, hold the breath. And then hands come down, relax everything. Notice arms, hands, chest, throat, face, head, heart. You're empowering your higher perspective, your higher expression. Take your strap, take it behind you. Strap is hip distance. Press your knuckles down towards your feet. Arms are straight. Navel strong. So the navel goes back towards the spine, tail reaches down into the floor, heart is up, chin lightly in, open your mouth. So that you're really finding the movement of your diaphragm, and as you're steady, navel stays engaged, diaphragm is moving, close your mouth, out your nose, and now you'll lift your hands away from your hips. As you can, turn your palms towards each other, that's it. If you don't need the strap, you interlace your fingers, palms towards each other, and we stay one minute. Strong arms, lift of the hands, hug your upper arms into your body. Tail down, crown tall, chin lightly in, 20 seconds. Lengthening and opening the back of your neck, broaden across the chest, broaden across the upper back, arms are straight and strong. Five, four, three, two, one. As you release your hands, backs of your hands to your thighs, release your throat. Notice. If your hips are tender, like Linda, this is a better pose for you to sit in. Maybe Cheryl, this might be a better pose to sit in. If your knees, hips are tender in kneeling, build seated. Finding a steady, strong, seated posture that suits your joints, your body. We sit tall. Draw the last two fingers together, fold them to your palms, and hold them with your thumbs. Draw the first two fingers together. And then with the fingers together, just touching at the height of your throat, elbows wide, find your seat. Let your breath become steady. We'll inhale for a count of three. We'll hold a count of five. And we'll exhale a count of 10. If cross legs doesn't work, I want you to kick it out so that your pelvis is square to the floor, and your heart is high. So we all find what we need. We're going in for three, pause for five, four, three, two, one, out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, as you can. In for three. Pause. Out for ten. In for three. Pause. Heart up, chin in. Out ten from the throat, the chest, the ribs, the low ribs, and the navel. In three, bottom up. Pause, keep rising. And out. Empty from the top down, little bit at a time. In three. Pause. And out. In three, bottom up. Pause tall. Out ten from the top down. In three. Pause. You need less than you think. Out ten. In three. Pause five. Out ten. You continue three more minutes. Shoulders soften on the exhale, spine tall on the inhale. Minute and a half. Last round. No 
open your hands, set it down. Let your breath be effortless and just listen. Listening to the sensations. So each Sunday, I will use a mantra and we'll build this mantra and it's a seven wave satnam. So you're having a maintained sa and that sa has little pulses and it's going to rise up from the base, low navel, navel, heart, throat, head, nam at the top. And then you'll inhale, you'll inhale up the body, and then sat nam. I'm going three minutes. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat frequencies of your body to activate, to coalesce. Staying seated, just three minutes, or lying back, your Shavasana. 
your choice. The body open and at ease on the floor will allow this to distribute all through you or seated tall, allowing it to stabilize and coalesce more fully. Entirely your choice, nothing could be wrong right now. Staying as long as you like, particularly in your Shavasana, letting the body completely release. And as you're ready, as it's necessary, you would walk in your feet and bring your palms together. And you would lift your feet and rub the soles of your feet. And then roll to a seat. In my newsletter, I put out a recommendation for an oil called Presence from Monara. If that was your choice, you put a drop in your palm. And you rub your palms. And if you don't have the oil, just rub your palms briskly and brightly. You'll take one hand back to the base of your skull, the back of your neck, and just lay the oil there. The second hand goes right at the center of the chest. And imagine that the little tuck of the chin, you're drawing the back of your neck up and you're pressing your heart a little bit down and you're opening the space. Now press the back of your head back just so slightly. And feel the back of the neck, the tops of the shoulders, the front of the throat, the top of the chest, all of that having a little more space. A little wriggle, a little shimmy, opening like traction, drawing the base of your skull away from the base of your spine. And then palms together, rub them briskly. If you have the oil, just a deep smell. And then sweep wide, reach high. Bring your palms together down the front, through the center, bring it in. We go one more time, sweep wide, inhale up. 
Palms together, thumbs to the forehead, center. I am this, and I bow to it all. And using that great clear voice, long sat, short nam, inhale. So. So welcome to Vishuddha, welcome to this clarification. We will grow stronger through our stable center. Those crazy push-up, tap your knees, that asymmetry that you're balancing is stabilizing you from the, to the very center, your spine and your core. And we'll build strength across the chest and the upper back as we walk down and we walk up and walk down and walk up. We'll interlace the fingers, opening through the triceps and across the back. As we get stronger, we'll add on a few more things. The chest, the throat, we are made to hold ourselves high. We are made to express our evolution. Rather than expressing yesterday, over and over and over until that's the only thing we know to say. We must fortify ourselves so that we can speak with what we are learning. Yesterday, my computer and I were in a wrestling match and I wanted to take the text from here and put it there and it kept going somewhere else and I was trying to use a template I was unfamiliar with and I'm shouting, I'm shouting at the computer. And then Lily Kate asked me a question, so I shouted at Lily Kate. And I knew, I knew that the answer was to stand up and walk away because this wasn't working. Martha, just step away for a minute. And the strength of continuing to do what was not working was more than my strength to stand up and do something else for a minute and let it calm down. So I just sat there and got angrier and angrier. And crying, I am going to, to get this to work out. And then later, I wanted to talk about it. I really wanted to talk about it. I really wanted to say how hard it was. We need fortitude not to repeat the things that aren't working. Not to say, can you believe, can you believe the traffic was that bad? That was terrible. That was crazy. I can't believe that the milk was spoiled this morning when I tried to make my coffee. Can you believe this? Because my vibration whew, is now down in the space of the spoiled milk. I am no longer on my computer. I'm here with you. I'm no longer in the traffic. Do I have the emotional fortitude to come out of that experience and into a new one and express, look, I'm not in traffic. That takes a lot of push-ups. And it's not the physicality, it's the will. I don't want to do push-ups. Well, here we go. We're walking along. But I don't want to do this. It's the emotional response of it's okay, one hand at a time, one hand at a time, even today, maybe it's just really small, maybe I imagine it, but I am, I am the great purifier here, I'm purifying my choice. I choose to be here with you in this moment as fully as I can because it's so incredible right here, right now, and my lessons are available. I know more from yesterday. I'm likely to repeat some of yesterday, but if I build some fortitude and I build some positivity and I use Vishuddha to clear my words, I will tell you more good in today than yesterday. We are powerful, powerful, powerful repeaters. There's momentum. We are hooked in. And this is the work that will help us unhook each step of the way. Ah, it's so good to be back with you. Thank you. And I will see you so soon. I am traveling these 40 days.
I am traveling, so Tuesday, regular class, but I will be in my hotel room, noon Eastern, and then Thursday will be 4 p.m. Eastern, and then I'll be back here on Sunday. So noon on Tuesday, 4 on Thursday, back on Sunday. That's our schedule. I'll see you then.